Yay. I am back with part two. Um, this is actually a couple hours later from my first one. I got busy I'm cooking something in my crock pot. So I was adding all my seasonings and stuff and watching a a show called The Messenger for a little bit. I watched an episode. <laughs> so, but anyways, it's back to this little jar. It's a little jar packed with all kinds of stuff. So I have found, oh yeah, I did also clean up these a little bit. So you could see Mark. Oh, heck. Excuse my hands. Whoops. Woo, where are you? Stir. Not sure what that little symbol is. And this one says, oops, you can see the Thailand, kinda. Nine to five. to get in there and then another symbol so I guess this is a Celtic knot this is about a five and this one is about a six and a half that's right. Oh no, it's bigger. It's almost an eight. Seven and three quarters. Five and three quarters. There we go. Wait a minute. Let's try that again. <laughs> Five and three quarters for this one. I guess this one is almost an eight, seven and three quarters. That means it should fit on this finger. Yep. Usually I can tell by that, but I messed up. Such is life. So let's continue with this jar of bits and bobs. See if I, ooh. Sorry, got a little excited here. I was hoping I'd find this earring. Where'd it go? There it is. It looks like lemon quartz to me. It's not citrine because it's too green. Pretty sure it's silver. Oh, there's the mark right there. Can you see it? Oh, these are cute. A little bit of silver, a big ring, just a fashion ring, pretty worn. And we all like pretty. What we don't like is tangles. Is that part of it? Oh, it is. Okay. This is made on a fish line, so it doesn't 
want to go straight. I was going to say it's a glass bead, but I'm going to say no. Because if you see it's got inclusions so I'm guessing this is a clear quartz with some smoky quartz peridot and amethyst and I don't know little wood beads I guess doesn't have a maker's tag on it or anything and these look kind of like an iridescent a yellow a gold iridescent what's the color on top of like a hematite type of color beads that's nice I like that oh and I found a pair earrings missing a stone oh, I got some tangles well Let's see another match to some earrings. Little teardrops. Oops, not silver or anything. Can't seem to get them as straight. Here we go. Yeah. It's an earring. Earring. Wow, what is this? Tangle. Earrings always seem to screw things up, don't they? <laughs> oh, wow. So, those chains caught. There we go. Oh, this is a tangled mess. I'm not going to untangle it. This part's rose gold. And it's got like feathers. In a plastic teardrop thingy. I'm sure they all kind of dangle down. But it's massively tangled right here. Oh wait, I can get that off. Oh good, yay. This definitely looks handmade. <laughs> definitely. Oh. Nope, New York and Company. It's awful. I mean, I like the amethyst beads. I think this is cool. I like... I don't like these beads. <laughs> I even like this hammer looking one. But I don't like this necklace in, as a whole. I just... No, I just don't. And not because it's um, asymmetrical or anything like that. I just... I don't know. I just don't like it. I don't know. Maybe it'll grow on me. Or not. But it's definitely worth taking apart, right? And then there's this one I'm not going to untangle. Just rose gold. Oh, look, it's got little rhinestones there. Does this side have it? No, just that side. I just kind of an inexpensive little necklace. Wow, that's an earring. Okay. And then we have this. This is a silk cord. And then it has art glass beads. And the purple ones are gorgeous. 
I'm not sure I like the necklace. But I like those little purple beads. It's an earring. <coughs> oh, I left my coffee in the other room. Darn it. These are not real pearls. Well, I'd classify this as wedding type jewelry. Little pearls. It's got little bicones and a crystal there. It's pretty. Definitely something you could wear at a wedding. This is just a fashion ring. It's not silver or anything. It's all worn. It's an earring. Earring. Oh, here's a ring. It says hope. And something inside says 925 BOMO. 925 B O M O. So, let's see what size that is. That's nice. Don't mind getting a little bit more silver. It's like a six and a half. It needs to be about a seven. It needs to be reshapened. I'll fix that. These vintage pearl earrings, probably from the 50s. Not pearl. <laughs> I said pearl because they're iridescent like a pearl. They have that luster. But they're definitely little shells. So, cute, cute. And I think I have another match. Maybe? Yep. Wow. These are just agate. Great fall color. Not silver. Like the agate though. And they have this child's bracelet. It's a big one. It's got a. Oops. Maybe it's a teenager. Perfume. Earphones. Ice cream and a butterfly. Oh, and they're all on with uh, lobster claws. Interesting. I guess you could add your own. This looks like a rodentite. Just a chip. In light colors. Road Knight does come in various colors of pink, pink and gray, blackish. Looks like it's kind of dirty. Looks ashy, you know what I mean? But that's pretty. Can be used for something. Did I have this earring? Oh, look, everybody needs a flip flop shoe, <laughs> right? Well, it looks like it was probably a mood one. Yeah, because it's turning blue now, but it's not a very good one. Not a very good one. Oh, here's a match. Well, I don't think this is turquoise. If it is, it's not American. It might be Asian. I'm just going by that. It's a possibility. Unsure, though. And here is a pendant. Looks silver. 
doesn't look like turquoise though. This looks like faux. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. And then there's this little bracelet, which is great for the little black crystals for repurposing because the rest of it isn't very good. Wait, let me pull some earrings out. Lots of little earrings. Here's a charm of a motorcycle. I don't think it's silver. Mm, it's hanging by the loop. Nope. Still cool. Little motorcycle. Here's a. Oh, what was the other one? Strength. I moved it over here. I think it said strength. But this one says healing. Here's just a big fashion ring. Pretty worn. Oh. No. Oh, there we go. I have this necklace. <laughs> I like this necklace. This is one of my favorite layering necklaces. I think it's Avon. I could be wrong. It is Avon. It says Avon. But this is one of my favorite layering necklaces because it's just silver tone with crystals. Goes with everything. Looks better when it's not tangled. There's a clasp. Where is that? There it is. It's pretty fun. You guys have a favorite layering necklace? Do other people layer? I like to layer. I like, I like this because it's so neutral, but yet, when clean, it gives a little sparkle. Catches your eye. And you can mix it with anything. I've worn it with wooden beads. So that's a nice piece. That one's going to get washed. I don't need two, so I'll probably list that one. And just a little stretchy. Hmm. I like this. It's good for crafting. Look at those. Those are cool. And I like the details on the chain. That could be made into something. That's going to be fun. This just looks like glass beads. Don't think it's silver. It's falling apart. It can be repurposed. There's another, there's lots of little broken pieces in here. But that's okay, I like broken pieces because you can always repurpose them. Ah, there's a bead. Earring. Yeah, there's the match to that one little earring. Where'd it go? Where'd you go, little earring? There you are. A little teeny tiny earring. And, oops, there's another broken piece. And here is a spade. That says Clift. There's a pair of earrings clipped together, little hammered hearts, gold tone. 
No. There's a pair. These are cool. They have no marks. I'm guessing they're earrings because they're missing their ear wires. But those are pretty cool too. I'm guessing it's a woman. I don't know. Little butterfly. Don't tell if it's plastic or pewter. A little silver tone heart. A witch's heart. Did anybody look that up after I said that? In one of my videos? This is cute. It's just quite dirty. Uh, 2028. But yeah, it's quite dirty. It's not in bad shape or anything. Oh, there's a little wear right here. Oh, sad. Here is... Uh, I don't know. A game token, I guess. I thought I'd look for that strength, but I don't know where it's at because I see another one right here. <laughs> yeah, let's try to finish this. Where are we at? 21 minutes. Wow. This thing's huge. And purple. Ooh. It's got a beaded, it's got a button and beaded clasp. Shells, little seed beads with amethyst. Is that real amethyst or it's looking dyed? Yep, it's pretty much dyed. Why? Why can't there be something that's beautiful in purple? That's not faux. Yeah. Hooter pendant <clears throat> sitting in a circle, gold tone. A serious face there. Here's a purple, probably dyed halite, Templar's cross. A button cover. Any other button covers here? Nope. It's like a heart clock. Let's pick up all these little symbols. Or game token. Here's the other K earring. This one says soul, serenity, wisdom. How come wisdom is small? <laughs> you would think you'd want it to be bigger. Just a peace sign, love. Another angel with healing again. Or is that the same one? I think it's the same one. Nope. I have two of them. Healing. Oh, here's one that says trust. Is that it? Somebody really liked these symbols. Here's a heart. It says love. Is that it? is like a crystal cut. It's got a unicorn in it. It's really nice. It's really reflective. This is probably leaded crystal. Another one in these. Uh, what is this? This 
looks like silver. Find any marks because of the pitting that looks like something right there. I believe it goes like this. That's cute. And that is a clear quartz because an amethyst, but definitely clear quartz because you can see all the f fracturing inside it. That's cool. Wish I could read who that's by. Oh, I see a 925. Right there. Oops, 925. But that's it. That's a nice piece. That is a pumpkin pin. It's getting to be that time of year. Oh, look. I have the other bright mirroring. Oh, I thought it was missing the stone. Just needs cleaning and a new back. See the Brighton B? What else we got here? Mostly earrings. There's a not silver because it's pretty. Maybe they'd put nail polish inside or something. It's pretty worn. There's another. It's missing all the stones. And here's a little boot charm in gold tone. Here's another one of those beads. Pretty. And a match. Looks like I have quite a few earring matches. These look like the moon glow almost. So nice. We have this glass and crystal bracelet I have a match in these crazy earrings crazy crazy uh, let's see what else do I have here I just saw this one there's another match no maker Here's a match. Somewhere is the hook. Whoops. I need washing. I got one of these. I don't know what this is, but I have one. <laughs> It does say something on it. Uh, what? Handsome. I have no idea. Handsome and valuable. So there you have it. Handsome and valuable. Here's another match. Kind of a sea foamy green. I have a match to the Rivoli. It's pretty. I like that AB look. Very sparkly, even though it needs to be washed. Really bad. Any other matches here? I mean, these are just little crystal earrings that don't have a match. Here's a match.
needed to be washed. And there's a match, so we're showing little stars. Here's a match, little bunnies. Whoops. Whoops. My bunny's trying to get away. Cute. One of these plastic rings. Here's a match. A lot of matches, which is highly unusual for this place. I remember when she was told me she would never match them. Here's another match. Kind of fallish looking. Here's a match. A real match this time. <laughs> Same color. These are pretty. Very classy. What else we got here? Here's a match. I'm not sure what these are. But there they are. And what else we got here? Oh, here's a match to this one, right? Oh, here's a match to this one, too. I thought, I thought I had, oh, I did. A match to this one. Bing! The match to this one, sparkly. Match to this, they look like little acorns, cute. Big pearls. Um, I have a match, I just seen it, where'd it go? There it is. This one. In This one, anything else here? Not seeing it. I have, it's like a Mandela, right? Not quite sure. Charm? Another Celtic symbol. Not sure what this means. Let's see if it's silver. It appears to be, but I'd have to find a stamp. Unless it's on the jump ring. So, not sure. Uh, Let's see what else is there. Um, just little post earrings, like gold or anything. Oh, do I have a match to this? No. Let's see. Uh, 1887 Leadership Club for the YMCA. Another one of these. Uh, part of a vintage piece of jewelry. This looks like it could be made into an earring or something. Um, I don't even know. Some kind of blue Pandora style bead, but not Pandora, right? This one says Paris. Somebody really liked Paris. Let's see. No match for this. Double checking. Nope. No match for this one. No match for this one. Here is a silver tone with rhinestone cross. 
here is a little tiny crucifix and it says stir S T E R. Yet, yeah, you know, I'm thinking stir plated, plated. So here's just a little faux opal style ring costume. Pretty sure it's not silver. No. Oh, here's something interesting. This looks stainless though. Oh, nope, not even real. Nope. That's still cool. A piece of broken jewelry that can be repurposed. Cool. And leftover earrings. That can be repurposed. That this cool brooch that says silver with the enameling. This is like a cloisonne style. That's cool. Look at that detail. That's beautiful. And a silver locket with engraving. Ugh. Might as well pry it open with my nails. They're already all chipped up from scrubbing. <laughs> Probably wasn't a good idea before uh, deciding to open a jar. It says 95 right there. This is cute. It's like a little egg. It's got little swirls and little lines. Quite detailed. Both sides. That's nice. So that's it. Is there anything in here that's like favorite, favorite? I do like these pearls. So I'm going to shove all this here. I do like these too. I don't know, I'm in the mood for some fall colors. Even though we have snow, we just kind of skipped over autumn. Right? That's Colorado. These pearls. Like, move. These. Not sure about this. It's interesting, but not sure. 10 carats. I t should have tested that. It was sitting right by it. More of silver. 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 Man made opal. I do like this. <laughs> that was like the coolest. I know I just need the perfect um, pendant to go with that. I like these pearl ones too. They're kind of a purpley dark gray. These op man-made opals, well, yeah. I'm gonna say man-made. Man-made. This sterling turkey, was it turkey? I believe so. Yep. Turkey piece. I like that. I believe these are lemon quartz. They're not citrine. Citrine is, does not have that lemony color. Okay, I like this little girl. She's cute. Another Celt Celtic. I don't know why I want to keep saying Celtic. 
I love this. I just wish I could find like something on it because it seems to me it should be 120th carat because I used to always look for 120th carat stuff. So, but it's cool. I like topaz, the brown topaz. I like the blue too, but. And then this peridot. Love it. Love this. Haven't decided about this one. Oh, I do like this too. It needs to hang. Maybe I'll just wear it and take a hot shower. Oh, and this. Because it goes with my ring. <laughs> Doesn't I don't see any silver marking on it though. Don't care. I'll probably keep it. And the little purple moo moo. That's what I call my kitten. That's Luna. She answers to Moo Moo. So that's a cat. And sparkly. So first time in a long time. I got some purples. Purples. And by purple, it's not just amethyst, just something purple, except for this crazy thing. But anywho, that is it. Um, tell me what you think. Okay, I like these two. And the hooter. Who doesn't like a hooter? And this crazy earring. Who doesn't like a crazy earring? <laughs> well, here's another one. Wait, was there matches here I missed? No. And then this one looks like Africa. The continent. So that's it. This was a Monet. Too bad I didn't get two of them. So that's it. And I'm back up to 45 minutes again. I can't seem to get it down lower. Um, please forgive me. Uh, but that's it. This was a fun jar. Got some silver, got some gold, got some turquoise, got a key cat. So what was your favorite piece in here? What do you like the best? I gotta wash all this stuff and I'm gonna test this. See what this is. I'm still waiting for my silver testing. I've given up. I think I'm just gonna order another one because I don't know. It's Last time I looked, it was, I think it was in Georgia. So just sitting there in the distribution center. So, yeah, it wasn't a lot of money. So I'm not too upset about it. A little bit, but not too much. <laughs> Anyways. Stay happy, stay blessed, and uh, have a good week. Bye-bye.